Lulu, are we gonna talk about your blankie? She's like, I don't care about you. I am looking at these sheep, and that is all that matters. Are you looking at those sheep? <laughs> oh yeah, we're looking at those sheep. <laughs> okay, get ready for my review of this amazing, amazing, amazing blankie. Oh my goodness, I just love it, and it's so soft. Welcome to Modern Homemakers. I'm Joaquina, and this is Tallulah. Oh yes. And I just wanted to show you this adorable crochet baby pattern. It's from Daisy Craft Farms, so I did not design it. I'm just reviewing it. Anyway, um, I just thought it was just such a stunning stitch. I had never done the Harlequin stitch before, so I'll try to do some close-ups of just the blanket. I made a few tweaks. So first of all, one of the things I love about their patterns, I have made, this is my third different pattern I have made um, of theirs because they just make these fresh, modern, stunning crochet patterns that you're like, wow, I wish I designed that. I don't know, I just, I have a lot of babies, so I'm always looking for a new pattern. Two of them I made for my own babies and then, um, one of them I made for a, cous a cousin's child. So I don't know what that, is that like a second cousin? I don't know what that is. Whatever that is. One of the things I've loved about the patterns is there is the written instruction, but there's always some sort of video tutorial for the tricky point. Like it's not gonna follow you through the whole thing, but there's like a tricky point. Um, so like this one, it was that basic, I actually go sideways here. So the Harlequin stitch, which repeats over and over again but i had to glance at the written pattern all the way through making it because it was um the way this thing works there are complete stitches and then there are partial ones on the edges and it rotates so that you can switch colors and stuff i did not do everything exactly as it was in this pattern um one of the things that i changed was the size so i wanted this to not just be a baby blanket that would work right when they were a newborn. I decided I wanted this one to be the size of the crib mattress so that as we are a toddler and later on that we would be able to still enjoy the blanket. So you can see it is a big mama jama because <laughs> I wanted it to, that's literally what I sized it to was when it's flat across the crib mattress. So. Oh, look at that. We're basically either eating, grumpy, or asleep. Those are our three things. So we have entered into the sleep realm here. So I wanted it to be the size of the crib mattress. So I did that. Another thing was I did not use the recommended yarn because um, I didn't want to online order anything. I just kind of was in Joann's and I went by the colors that spoke to me. I will put links to the yarn that I used, if I remember, <laughs> I will try to put links to the yarn I actually used, and um, I changed up, they had multiple examples of different um, colors that other people had done, where other people played with it as well. I did not do the exact, like, the pattern had like blue and white and pink, and I did gray and pink and white, and I did like different orders, so I have like, um, a big solid multiple rows of pink and then I had white gray white and that was the pattern that I repeated throughout I'm trying to think if there's anything else I did different oh it was a different size crochet hook in order to make it different yarn I did a smaller hook and I had to do more rows because it was supposed to be a really chunky yarn so it was a very forgiving pattern it let me do all of those things and it still looks like the original <laughs> so I thought that was pretty good I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I just really, really love this pattern. Um, it's just unique and fresh and they all look different. Go check out these other two videos if you haven't already. Um, these are two more patterns from Daisy Craft Farms. 
that I reviewed because I love them. I can't say anything else more positive. I don't think I have any negatives about this pattern because it was just so fun and I got to have something special for this baby, for Miss Tulula, so that her blanket is different than her siblings. Yeah, I've been making baby blankets. My oldest just turned 17 years. Does that age me? Uh, yeah, it's been a long run. My first one, I didn't know that I was having a girl, so it's a like gender neutral, like reds, it was not a pastels. We'd hit, we had like primary colors because we did the nursery. It was a Jim Henson, it wasn't just Sesame Street, it was Jim Henson. So we had Fraggle Rock and Muppets and Sesame Street, it was a very cool nursery. And then I knew the next one was a girl, so I did all the pinks and stuff again, but totally different from this one. So yeah, everyone's got their different blankie. And uh, it's just fun over the years, you know, my skills have gone up, so they, they all get more fun each time I like them. It's like every blanket really is my new favorite. Just kind of like, you know, they're all like, who's the cutest baby? I'm like, whoever the current baby is, is the cutest baby. And that's how the competition works. <laughs> uh, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, Modern Homemakers, and we'd love to see more of you. Drop a comment, let me know what you're thinking, how you're doing, and yeah. If you could like this video, that'd be awesome too. So I just feel like I gave you a bunch of jobs. So I apologize for that. And I thank you in advance. <laughs> I have a wonderful day and I'm signing off. I'm going to go try to lay this baby down and get something done. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. That would be amazing.